the stage, the stand-up comedy stylings of Dash Renault! So this is going to be a little different. <laughs> but based on how that got scored, I want to just ad-lib a romantic poem now. <laughs> Scrap my set entirely. Folks, I do have some really exciting news. I just found out through 23andMe that I am related to Stephen Colbert. Cool, right? But I really hope he also got a notification. I think Stephen Colbert would want to know that he's related to one of the Bay Area's bottom tier comedians. <laughs> Gotta do something for his ego. Folks, just before coming out of this, I was playing one of those fantasy video games. I was playing this game Night Squad with my son, and it was just me and him against bots, and the bot difficulty settings were hard, medium, easy, or disabled. <laughs> Whose job was it to put disabled bots in this video game? I mean, imagine you're the engineer that gets that posted on your desk and you're just like, you guys are trying to fight Nazis in wheelchairs now? <laughs> this is a bit much. I've been working on my relationship, folks. Anyone else working on themselves, working on their relationship? I'm not gonna lie, for a long time, me and my girlfriend, we were just Netflix and chill. I'm happy to report we are now Disney plus anal. I'll take it, it's progress. It's Anyone else doing the, the Disney, <laughs> the Disney Plus thing? <laughs> Come on, right? It's good. It's, they got a whole universe of Star Wars up there now. We got Star Wars fans here tonight? Yeah, okay, fantasy. Folks, I can't wait for them to finally come out with a Star Wars spinoff that accounts for whatever happened to the racial diversity of the galaxy between episodes three and four. Right? They came out with an entire movie to explain how they blew up the Death Star. Yeah, we're gonna go from episode three, where it's a totally egalitarian society, Samuel L. Jackson's heading the Jedi, women are fighting. We get to episode four and it's like, Luke, what the hell happened to all the non-white people on Tatooine? <laughs> it is gonna be a dark season of Andor when they finally explain this, folks. <laughs> Not gonna lie though, I don't think they're going to. I don't think they have the balls to do that. I don't think, the, <laughs> I don't think that Disney's gonna do that. Instead, mark my words, they're just gonna re-release episode four and they're just gonna add some Latinos in post-production. <laughs> Cabo San Lucas Arts Entertainment. <laughs> you guys are fun. This is, this is my fun crowd. Uh, that's not the only thing they have up there on the Disney Plus, folks. They also have the new Little Mermaid movie. Yeah. I'm sure it's not a surprise to anyone in this room that there's a lot of men in this country right now that look like me that are kind of upset about the new Little Mermaid movie. <laughs> We've heard about this? And folks, you try and relate to everyone, right? Like everyone's coming from somewhere. But it's hard to relate to a grown man who's upset at how Disney is casting their movies for children. What is your dog in this fight, dude? <laughs> but I guess if we're giving them the benefit of the doubt, I suppose it is a little weird to take a role away from a natural redhead if we care about representation, right? Because white redheads, that's like a micro, micro minority. Folks, do you realize how many white redheaded Disney princesses there are once we get rid of Ariel? Only like five. <laughs> but, but I did finally see the new Little Mermaid folks, and are we sure that they're all upset about her race and not her age? Because the new Little Mermaid, it's a live action. They had to make Ariel a lot older. She's hardly a Little Mermaid anymore, folks. It's not really on canon. I mean, who here at the Continental Club can tell me what island the Little Mermaid takes place on? Do you remember? Folks, it was Epstein Island. I, I, mean, I mean, think about it, right? They're in the Caribbean. The British royalty is there. And they love girls that can keep their mouth shut. My name's Dash Renault. You guys have been fucking great. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Thank you guys. <laughs>